Well, it's a 13S which I've been working on. The volume control had been changed and um, the shaft is a bit too long. I cut it down about a quarter of an inch, but it's still a bit on the long side. I might fit, because it's got a plain shaft, it isn't splined, so I may just try fitting another pair of, um, of noblets on there. Um, with a, uh, a six mil hole. But the problem with this one was the right hand fuse was blown. But I tested all the valves out and sure enough um, V3 is it or V4? I think it's V4. Don't take the notice of those labels up there by the way. V1's okay, but V3 is in fact V2 on the left hand channel, and the two over on the right hand side are V3 and 4 um, on the right hand channel. But they seem to be okay. Um, I've got some audio going for it at the moment, which is why the settings are a bit high. If I turn the volume off, I go back to about 30 mil, which is where the owner had them set but the thing is it's having the same problems as what I had with um, other 10 hours the HT on the front end is really high and consequently the cathode of the phase splitter instead of being at about 120 volts it's sitting at about 300 of it. Oh, hang on. Got some notes down there. Um, now one side was at um, 187 volts, and the other side is at 192 volts, which is far too high on the cathode of, um, of a valve. Uh, you know, it's just waiting for a cathode heater short, isn't it? But it should be at 120. The HT on the front end is far too high. I notice that they've increased the size of the tail resistor to 56k. But if that's not going any good. So, is this a design fault on all of these units this is a 13s if i if i wind the volume up quickly and then back down look at, look at v3 i oh, know it's really v2 but look at it even v1 is sort of kicking around a bit isn't it when i go to full volume and then back again and the other side is just as bad yeah? It really is bad. Moderate volume off. There's a sluggishness in the action of the circuit. That should snap straight back when the signal level drops. You know, what's it hanging up there for? There's no signal going through. It should be dropping back. And I've had this on others. And the only reason say, you know, what I have done is I'll put something like 220 volts worth of Zener diodes in there, brought the HT down to the front end, and that's established the right grid voltage on the cathode follower to give you 120 something on the cathode. And then it's performed quite nice. And I don't know where to do the same with this. I think the owner was quite happy with the sound from it. But it is interesting that this has occurred now on twice these occasions and I don't know why. I really don't know why. But I certainly don't like the way those meters move. I don't like it. Is it a design fault or not? Are all MC13S's like this? And nobody really knows because I haven't got a four meter test box to see what actually happens with the signals. It really is weird, isn't it? I can turn them off on the front panel.
it's one ne one meter like v4 is responding reasonably well but v2 is going too sluggish um, you see there it's v1's taking a bit of a while and v3's shutting down and the thing is that v3 um v3 is actually v2 which is a, a um, I think it's uh, the, um, the bottom, the bottom one of the cathode fire. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think V2 is driven by the bottom triode of the face split, I think, right? And and. What's shown as V3 is in fact V2, and that seems to be behaving correctly. And its counterpart on the right hand channel, which is V4, that seems to be working okay. It's the, it's the triode at the top of the face splitter chain, as you, as you see it. It's the one that's on the left hand side in the drawing. Um, that's the one that seems to be playing up. And of course, that is biased directly from the voltage, which is in the centre of the front end uh, triode, whatever's there, and it's much too high, much too high. There are food for thought. Do I mod it? Do I put Xenas in? I don't know. I really don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't think it's working. As it really should be working. Do you detect a lateness in sharp responses in music? I wonder. Perhaps you can get back to me. You know, when you're playing music that's got sharp attack and decay, do you notice that it's not quite right? Doesn't sound quite right? Would be very interesting to know. In the meantime, Oh, yeah, the uh, Sylvain 6 CA7s are still up there and they're not arcing over or doing anything naughty. So it's a bit of a waiting game on that respect. Alright. Well, we've had another little go at this. We've um, added some Zenners across the last uh, smoothing cap. Uh, I think it's C204 on one side and C214 the other side um, the Zeners I put in there a bit higher than I normally use it's 100 and 120 I think that's what I put in or is it 110? It might be 110 120 so there's about 230 volts on there um, in fact I measured the voltages on on C204 is at 241 it's a bit higher than what I would ideally like so I might have to drop put another Zener in take it down and not was the other channel that one there it's giving me um, da -da 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 -da, 237 so it's a little bit just on the high side now the thing is that the tail voltages that's the old one is it can't find it well it's 156k that's one of them and that's now changed it was um uh, it was 184 volts it's now 131 i was hoping to get it's about 120 but it's 131 and likewise this one that was uh, 130, oh, it's 130 volts now. It was 186.7. So still a little bit, just a little bit on the high side. But uh, this is only just an experimental test. The thing is, I've got the volume cranked up to almost maximum. Um, Oh, what square square wave I'll just back it off so it's just before clipping that's maximum power 
There's the meters now. Now if I switch off now, there's a bit of a difference, isn't there? It's still a bit on the sluggish side, but there's none of this whooping around and dinking and diving and everything else. It looks a bit more refined, going from flat out to nothing. Much, much different to what I originally had. So I think, you know, at the end of the day we're getting there. I'll turn the pot up and down. It's not too bad at all, is it? All sort of behaving themselves now. Well, whether that could be heard, that strange behaviour, I don't know. But I'm beginning to think that that is how it ought to work now. But I might just try just changing those zeners a little bit. I've calculated the uh, wattages and things, and the resistor that feeds that capacitor, I think it's... Oh, I think it's 5k1, I'm not sure. It's one of those. Or is it the 33k? Anyway, it's one of those. I've got a circuit diagram here. Where have I? What I did have. Oh boy, and I had some fun with the circuit diagram. The, um... <laughs> all the pinouts on uh, the second valve, the right hand channel, all the pinouts have changed. Um... So where it said it's um, one, two and three, uh-uh. It's um, six, seven and eight. And the same with the front end one as well. So I've, I've updated the drawing, but I haven't done a, uh, a print out yet. So um, yeah, the right hand channel valve numbers are all over the place. Uh, but that's the um, 33k. So that's rated at 2 watts. And normally, when the current going through it, it's dissipating something like, oh, I can't remember now, but it's, it's so many like tens of milliwatts. It's ridiculous. Um, with the zeners across the capacitors, like the C214, um, it pushes it to 0.7 of a watt, but it's rated at, um, at 2 watts, so that should be okay. And the, um, the zeners are 5 watt rated, and don't forget there's 2 in series, so that's roughly 2.5 watts each, and they're rated at 5 watts, so there's no problem with the zeners. So, um, yeah, I might just take the voltage down just a little bit more to see if it really makes that final improvement. It's very strange, very, very strange. I thought the first time I came across it, it was just one of them things, just an odd amplifier, but I'm beginning to think that this could possibly be a major design error. Well, uh, the voltage is so high on the phase splitter cathode and it's like not being able to work as it should because of the high voltage there. I don't know. I don't design valve stuff. <laughs> I just try and repair it. <laughs> Although there are times when I've had to do a little bit of design. But um, that's mostly solid state stuff. So there you go. That's the um, situation so far.